Argentina has defaulted on its debt for the second time in 13 years after failing to reach a deal with the U.S. creditors before deadline. With more on this story, we now turn to Paul Yi at the News Center. Paul, Argentina is already in a double dip recession. Should it be bracing for another economic meltdown? Well, Latin America's third largest economy is yet again in the red, but analysts say the effects of this fresh default is not likely to be as severe compared to its debt crisis in 2011. The Argentine economy minister has blamed this breakdown in negotiations on U.S. hedge funds that are demanding a full repayment on its government bonds worth some $1.3 billion. Na Hyung Gung has the details. His face lined with tension. Argentine economy minister Axel Kisilov walks into a press conference in New York after failing to reach agreement on averting his country's second default in nearly 13 years. This offer is legal for Argentina and doesn't violate our contract's clauses, but was not accepted by the Volta funds. This offer wasn't accepted because evidently they want more and they want it now. Global ratings agency Standard & Poor's has downgraded Argentina's foreign currency rating to selective default. Analysts say a default of Latin America's third largest economy is unlikely to have a huge impact on the global economy, but will likely weaken the Argentina peso as more people hold on to dollars. The imminent default stems from a years-long legal battle with two of Argentina's bondholders who had rejected restructured debt agreements in 2002 when the country first defaulted. The Buenos Aires government at present cannot pay other creditors because of a U.S. court ruling last month, which said no creditor can be paid unless the two so-called holdout creditors are paid as well. Kisilov says the country will take all the necessary measures to confront what he referred to as an unfair situation. Na Hyun Gyeong, Arirang News.